Pakistan will respond most decisively to any Indian aggression. The people of Jammu and Kashmir too have struggled for a century for their freedom and right to self-determination. Instead of moving towards peace, India has resiled from its commitments to implement the Security Council resolutions on Jammu and Kashmir. These resolutions mandate a plebiscite to enable the people of Jammu and Kashmir to exercise their fundamental right to self-determination. Ladies and gentlemen, since the 5th of August 2019, India has initiated unilateral illegal steps to impose what its leaders ominously call a final solution for Jammu and Kashmir. Day in and day out, 900,000 Indian troops terrorize the people of occupied Jammu and Kashmir with draconian measures, including prolonged curfews, extrajudicial killings, and the abduction of thousands of young Kashmiris. At the same time, in a classic settler colonial project, India is seizing Kashmiri lands and properties and settling outsiders into occupied Jammu and Kashmir in their nefarious design to transform the Muslim majority into a minority. This hackney tactic is employed by all occupying powers, but it has always failed in Jammu and Kashmir too. It shall fail by the grace of God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> India's policy of brutal coercion and oppression in occupied Kashmir has ensured that Burhan Wani's legacy continues to inspire the struggle and sacrifices of millions of Kashmiris. Inspired by the legitimacy of their epic struggle, they remain defiant. Their heart-wrenching stories remind us that behind every statistic lies a human life, a dream deferred, and a hope shattered. Every more, even more worryingly, it is engaged in massive expansion of its military capabilities, which are essentially deployed against Pakistan. Its war doctrines envisage a surprise attack and a limited war under the nuclear overhang. Thoughtlessly, India has spurned Pakistan's proposals for a mutual strategic restraint regime. Its leadership has often threatened to cross the line of control and take over Azad Kashmir. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. President, let me state in no uncertain terms that Pakistan will respond most decisively to any Indian aggression. Therefore, to secure durable peace, India must reverse the unilateral and illegal measures it has taken since 5th of August 2019 and enter into a dialogue for a peaceful resolution of the Jammu and Kashmir dispute in accordance with the UN security resolutions and the wishes of the Kashmiri people. Mr. President, remember, illegal occupation creates a fresh hell every day in the killing fields of Palestine and in the pristine valleys of occupied Jammu and Kashmir. 